if the angular momentum is conserved in a system whose moment of inertia is decreased, will its rotational kinetic energy be conserved? So, we have angular momentum which is conserved in a system whose moment of inertia is decreased. And we know angular momentum okay, in magnitude L equals moment of inertia I times angular frequency omega. So, we have this. Let us call it equation 1. So, I represent moment of inertia and omega represent angular frequency and from quotient okay if the angular momentum is conserved so let us understand in this way in a system whose moment of inertia is decreased so if i is decreased okay then angular frequency increases so that l is constant or conserved. So, we have this. Okay. So, if moment of inertia decreases, then angular frequency increases so that the product I omega, okay, equals constant or conserved and this product I omega is the angular momentum. So, we need to understand this, okay. And rotational kinetic energy, okay. Rotational kinetic energy, let us denote it by the symbol K R O T. So, this equals half I omega square. So, I am rewriting rotational kinetic energy half I omega square. Let us call it equation 2. Now, we want to express equation 2 that is rotational kinetic energy in term of angular momentum that is L. So, I am writing, let us express, okay, rotational kinetic energy in term of angular momentum L. So, now, okay, therefore, from second, okay, rotational kinetic energy equals 1 by 2. So, I am writing in this way, okay. So, we have this. Clear? Now, this is half I omega, okay, whole power 2 divided by I. And we know I omega is L. Therefore, we can write half L square, okay, by I. So, rotational kinetic energy equals half L square by I. Now, what we find, okay, from the question, oh, angular momentum is conserved or is constant. So, let us call it equation 3. Since L equals constant or is conserved, okay. So, if L is constant, then L square, okay, is again, okay, constant. And we know half is constant. Therefore, from equation 3, rotational kinetic energy is inversely proportional to I, that is moment of inertia. So, we find this. And from question, okay, what we find moment of inertia is 
decreased. So if moment of inertia is decreased, clear? Then, so we know moment of inertia is denoted by the symbol I. Then, rotational kinetic energy. So, if I decreases, okay, if it decreases, then rotational kinetic energy increases then rotational kinetic energy increases or let us write in this way rotational kinetic energy is increased or increases so i am writing in this way okay increases therefore we can conclude okay that rotational kinetic energy okay rotational kinetic energy is not conserved so we are asked to find whether rotational kinetic energy is conserved or not so what conclusion can we draw therefore rotational kinetic energy is not conserved so we have this